in the classroom you have it, okay? So our first unit is going to be over the element of our shape. And normally we talk about line first, but this is kind of an easier one to do when we're remote. So shape is a two-dimensional enclosed space with boundaries. So we talked about the other day how there are two types of shapes. There's geometric shapes and there's free form or organic shapes. So the first page of your digital sketchbook, all you have to do is just put the definition of shape in there, okay? And you're just gonna type it in. If we were in person, what we would do is we would color in the word and we would write it together. But for right now, since we're online, we're just going to do it this way. That way you guys don't get behind. Okay, so on the first one, today you will just type in the definition, a two-dimensional enclosed space that has height and width. Okay, so that's page one. Then you're going to talk about geometric shapes. So geometric shapes are shapes like squares, circles, triangles, hexagons, all that kind of stuff. And organic shapes are irregular shapes. So examples are paint splatters or clouds or water drops, things that are not, um, that do not have a regular outline and that we do not talk about in math. The last type of shape we're gonna talk about today is called an implied shape. So you can see right here that there is an implied triangle, but there's not actually a triangle there, right? So these three, um, semicircles give the illusion that there is a triangle there, but there's not actually one. So it's using the space to create a shape. That's called an implied shape. So on slide two of your digital sketchbook, you just have to give me some examples of each. When you are doing this, I'm going to show you on my um, I'm gonna show this to you on my browser really quickly. Give me just a second. So that you guys can see how to insert each one. Okay, so once again, you guys know how to do insert shape, okay? So inserting a shape, you just go to the shape tool and you insert a shape, right? If you want to do an organic shape, you're gonna to have to draw your own. So you're gonna to have to go to the line tool, which is right here next to the shape one. And you can go to scribble, and then you can just draw your own shape, okay? Organic shapes are irregular shapes. So once again, you're gonna to go to the line tool, and you're gonna to go down to scribble, and then you can just draw your own shape, okay? The last one where you make an implied shape what you could do, if you want to use the example that I use, is you could insert three circles. So I'm going to insert a circle, and insert another circle. Okay, and then I'm going to fill all those in with a color. Okay. And then I'm going to insert a triangle on top. And then I'm going to make the triangle white so that it creates that implied shape. So I inserted the circles first and then I inserted the triangle second and made the triangle white. Okay. Okay, so that is slide two. Slide three, you are just going to insert an example of each of the shapes next to the shape that it says on your sketchbook, okay? So all of these are where that shape tool is again on your Google Slides. Okay, and then the fourth one, you have to identify if it's a regular geometric shape or organic. If it's an organic shape, it's not going to have a name. For example, obviously the first one is rectangle and then the organic shape doesn't have a name. So you're just gonna type in organic next to it when you are doing it on your sketchbook. So 
I have put all of these in your Google Classroom. So if you look in your Google Classroom and you go down to your assignments under your classwork tab, it says shape sketchbook, just like your digital of art sketchbook or your element of art sketchbook. And you're just going to do pages one through four today. One through four. The rest of them we will probably do when we get back to person. So you're just gonna do pages one, two, three, and four. Okay. So reminder, I put the daily schedule for you. In your Google Classroom. And it's right here in your Google Stream. So your first thing today is to finish your digital elements of art sketchbook. Your second thing is to turn it in because it's due tomorrow. And then the third thing is to work on your shape sketchbook pages one through four.